On the other hand, we have this. We have the unintentional resistant adolescent. Okay, this is, this is kind of very different. The unintentional one is this is the young person who literally she or he is genuinely shy. Okay, the child's genuinely shy. They don't speak up too much. They're not exactly sure. And there's a lot of different things. Sometimes uh, they're just so shy. The other thing is in their head, they don't think anyone would really care even if you, you know, or if you knew all about me, I don't think you'd like me. So that's very, very different than the one who wants to get in your face about everything. And it's very different about the approach that we would have and, and the social skills that this person might really need to, to learn, all right? Uh, doesn't know how to ask for help, absolutely and positively, all right? Or uh, they're very overly self-conscious, right? very overly self-conscious. I haven't been able to do this for a while. I wish we could do it you know, uh, here. I think we'd have a lot of fun this afternoon doing it. But I don't know if any of you have ever done theatrical games as a therapeutic way, and particularly with adolescents, because remember, behavioral things worked a lot better. So we would turn around, I remember years ago, I had this whole thing about doing theatrical games. And what we'd do is, I remember that we usually had about 45 teenagers show up you know, every week at night to be part of this. Thing. It was, we had a lot of fun. But I would divide them into groups of threes. I'd, I'd say, all right, I need the first group up here and the second group. And we, of course, there'd be no tables. Everything's, you know, we need all the space. But it would say, okay, you know, first group, come on up here. Everybody else sit down, you know. And I would say to someone, I'd say the first group, I just need all of you to stand up against the wall and face me. You know, say so you got the ones you know, standing against the wall. And then, and then I would say, I, I said, okay, would one of you, uh, just walk across the room to the other wall. Yeah. And most of the, and, and you get somebody going, what? <laughs> and then I would say, now, would the rest of you walk across the room and imitate his walk? <laughs> so then you get... <laughs> Can you imagine 14 people in silence walking towards you, imitating you? Are they telling you something about how you come across? But you can bet the ranch, bet the ranch. The last person up here, I don't mean to be sexist, but it usually always happens. The last person up here would be a young female adolescent, somehow hoping that before it got to her, I would die. <laughs> so what we did is, she didn't really want to be singled out by saying, you know, well, Gretchen, go ahead, or something like that. So as soon as I, you get, you'd get one of these. <laughs> Those are totally different kind of resistance, okay? Very, very, very different. And overly self-conscious, absolutely and positively, absolutely. 